Hello friends, in this series you will learn about automating infrastructures on Google Cloud with Terraform. You will learn about configuration files and basic Terraform commands, provisioning, changing and destroying infrastructures with Terraform, managing state files both locally and remotely, and finally how to use existing modules from the registry and build your own. But first, what is Terraform? Terraform is an infrastructure provisioning tool or infrastructure as code tool. It is developed by HashiCorp and is open source. Put simply, an infrastructure provisioning tool helps you manage your resources on different platforms. These resources can be VMs, databases, user roles, policies, and so on. Managing resources means creating, changing, and destroying them. These tasks can be repetitive, and when handling different environments like staging and production, consistency is key. Terraform makes it simple. So instead of creating and managing resources manually through each platform's graphical interface, Terraform gives you the possibility to do it in a human readable configuration file. These configuration files are written in the declarative language, HCL for HashiCorp configuration language, in contrast with procedural languages where you need to code how things should be done step by step, adopting a declarative language, you describe what the end result should look like and the interpreter knows how to reach the desired state in the best possible way. With configuration files, you're able to manage your infrastructure in a safe, consistent and repeatable way. So Terraform can manage infrastructures for in-house solutions as well as on large number of cloud platforms like GCP, AWS and services like Kubernetes, Helm and GitHub among others. To do so, Terraform leans on plugins called providers to interact with cloud platforms and services through their APIs. There are over a thousand providers already available and if this is not enough, you can write your own. To keep track with the real-world infrastructure you're managing, Terraform makes use of state files. These files act as a source of truth when applying changes to match your configuration files. State files can be local or remote using state backends. It allows safe team collaboration and remote backends can be stored on your cloud platform or even versioned on GitHub and GitLab. Before we wrap up, the key points to remember. Terraform can manage infrastructures on multiple cloud platforms. The human readable configuration language helps you write infrastructure code quickly. Terraform state allows you to track resource changes throughout your deployments and you can commit your configurations to version control to safely collaborate on infrastructures. Now you know what Terraform is. In the next video, you will see how to set up your Terraform and GCP projects. Thank you for watching and see you soon.